everybody welcome back to my channel welcome back to another vlog we're starting the day by getting my nails done so let's go in there Okay, just finished with my nails. My nails came out so tiny, but I honestly love them because they just feel like really natural nails. I'm also the absolute worst at telling my nail person when I don't like something or like if I want to change something, especially with the size because if I notice that it's too small, it's always too late. So she'll be like, do you like them? And I'm like, yeah, I love them. But anyways, the next two things I want to do is one, I want to go to Trader Joe's because I have a bunch of things to get and I really want to cook salmon tonight. So I'm going to make like salmon with shrimp maybe and then rice and some stir fried veggies. And I also think I want to stop at a library. Yesterday and these next couple days is kind of like my getting my life back together sort of situation. It's been like two weeks now that I feel like I've gotten in the habit of just letting things pile up. So I'm telling myself I'm going to make these next couple of days be the most productive as possible because when I'm productive, I'm in a good mood and everything just flows nicely. I may or may not have gone a little crazy at Trader Joe's. Obviously, I cannot come to Trader Joe's without getting flowers. I'm gonna put this one in my room because it's just giving the best summer vibes. I got this one for my mom. I saw these tulips and I think tulips are going out of season pretty soon. So I was like, let me pick up my last tulips. I got two bags of broccoli, one bag of asparagus, one bag of avocados, some zucchini, squash, strawberry muffins. I Last time I got this box, it lasted like two days at my house. These are so freaking good. One bag of mushrooms, one pineapple probiotic shot, this salmon rub seasoning blend. I'm gonna put this on the salmon today. Next, I got some cherries. These look so freaking good. This is something I'm trying out and I'm pretty sure it's gonna melt before I get home, but it'll be okay. These are the ice cream sandwiches that everybody talks about. Hopefully they're as bomb as they say. Some yellow squash. I got some yogurt. This is the honey Greek yogurt. What I actually came for, which is the salmon and the shrimp. This is just like the regular large shrimp. And lastly, I picked up some bacon. I was telling my mom how my back hurt yesterday and she was telling me how she gives the best massages. She's like, you're gonna feel like a new person. Like I give the best massages ever. She's like, te vas a sentir como una persona nueva. She was just telling me like, I was gonna feel super good after her massage. Tell me why my back hurts more today. So I'm gonna have to burst her bubble a little and tell her that her massage actually ruined me. <laughs> to go in there browse at the books you know just taking the vibes but they had like a little library bookstore and i think i got a really good deal both of these together combined were two dollars no taxes just that two dollars even in this economy you know that's a good deal i picked up this one this one's called the selection and this one i'm actually so excited that i found this one's called the editor it says a struggling writer gets his big break with a little help from the most famous woman in america that's all I need to know. That sounds really good. Anyways, I just added to my never-ending TBR. 
It's finally happening. I'm so excited about this. I've been talking about potentially having a book club for weeks on my channel now. So finally being able to talk about it and share it with you guys feels unreal. But I'm honestly so excited and I think this is gonna be so fun for all of us to do together. I'm quickly gonna tell you guys a little bit about it and like where you can find the book club, how you get to the book club, how it's gonna work and just things like that. Basically for my book club, I'm partnering with Fable. Fable is basically a community powered app for finding, reading and discussing books with other people. With Fable, you can join a ton of other book clubs. There's literally so many on there that are moderated by other people like me. Or you can even start a private book club for just you and your friends and like people you know. Or you can do both. You can make a book club and join book clubs all at the same time. Over the past couple of weeks, I've been on Fable a lot, just trying to get the hang of it, trying to see like, what are the perks? What does it do? It has such a community vibe to it. So you're constantly talking to other people about the books you're reading, about book recommendations, about books you want to read. The first book that I'm going to be choosing for my book club is going to be Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez. But after this book, I'm going to be doing polls on every single book I choose. So we're going to be choosing together every single book that we read. There's also like little discussion rooms for every single chapter. So every time you finish that chapter, you can go and see what people thought. There's also suggested milestones to keep us on track and keep us motivated to read the book but we can all basically read at our own pace at the end there's like a little reflection box so that's where you leave your review and you can see what other people thought what people loved what people didn't love you also don't necessarily have to buy the ebook if you want to be reading the book that we're reading if you prefer the physical copies you can also do that probably my favorite thing or one of my favorite things about this book club there's a little thing called a club lobby so that's basically where you can just chat at all times it can be about the book that we're reading it can be if you need recommendations you can talk to me you can talk to the other people in the book club so to join my book club it is incredible easy all you have to do is download the fable app then you go to my book club in my profile and you join that book club there are some really cool benefits to buying your book through fable such as being able to highlight passages you can leave tabs you can leave emoji reactions the link to my book club will be down below always i'll always have it down below thank you so much to you guys thank you so much to fable and yeah let's get back to the video I look like an actual grease ball, but I just wear a lot of oils right before bed. Anyways, I'm getting ready for bed because tomorrow I really want to do this thing where I wake up at 6 a.m. I really want to have a productive day tomorrow. And last time I woke up at 5 a.m., I had like the best day, the most productive day. If I go to sleep like right now, I know that I won't like absolutely hate my life when I hear my alarm go off at 6 a.m. The last thing I'm gonna do today is journal because I haven't journaled in literally so long, like weeks. I ordered two things from Sephora and it just came in the mail. So I'm gonna try them out. I got the Dior blush and I got the YSL lipstick. That is gorgeous. I got it in shade Rosewood. So we're gonna try this out. Okay. 
Okay, that's really pretty. Okay, I'm officially obsessed with that blush. This is the one that I'm really, really, really excited about. It's in shade Candy Glaze, so shade two. It's so pretty. I'm literally obsessed with this and I want to get it in like every single shade. I'm taking full advantage of the day and I'm going to try to make it as productive as possible. First thing I'm doing today is a pedicure, which sounds like, you know, self-care, like I'm treating myself. It's so fun. But there's something about pedicures for me that isn't that relaxing. Like it's not that like self-care vibe, but it's supposed to be sunny all of next week, which I'm so excited about. And I know I'm going to want to wear sandals and the whole thing. And it's also Father's Day on Sunday and I want to wear a cute outfit that day. So we're getting a pedicure this beautiful Thursday morning. done so i have a quick list of some things that i want to accomplish today first thing i have to stop at target and get a couple things then i want to go to this coffee shop get some lunch get some coffee a green juice maybe then if i have time i kind of want to go to barnes and noble i probably shouldn't maybe i'll go just to browse if we go i'm not getting anything after that i'm going back home i have to wash my sheets i have to unbox a couple things and i also want to give my hair a blowout because i just got these rollers they're these velcro rollers from amazon and i want to see if i can give myself an at-home blowout later tonight i'm going to dinner with my brother and his girlfriend and my parents and then i have to edit this video for like two or three hours and then i plan on going to sleep very early tonight because i know i'm gonna be so tired later on now that i just mentioned all of those things let's go ahead and accomplish every single one This is so freaking cool. I hope that this is worth it because it's currently almost 11 p.m. But all of this took me less than 20 minutes. Anyways, I'm gonna go drink my tea and see how long I can last in this before I want to take them off. It's been like five minutes, but I'm so sleepy, so we're gonna take these out. This was pretty much like a little test run for myself to see if I get the hang of the rollers. But when I do this again, I do want to leave the rollers in for like an hour. So I feel like the longer you leave the rollers in, the better the hair's gonna look. Okay, now let's get ready for bed.